announce the next speaker. Um, actually, um, she's our, our Benjamin for tonight, my Nelson. She'll turn 19 tomorrow. Yeah, so we can sing for her later on. Um, and she studies biology in, in Utrecht and uh, about her talk. It talks about the energy network. The energy network we have nowadays is extremely vulnerable. Um, the other big problem is the fact that sustainable energy we have nowadays can be way more sustainable because we still depend on our decreasing fossils, uh, fossil sources. And um, some moments sustainable energy is wasted because more is generated than is needed. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is on a new solution to sustainable energy. Imagine a bomb being dropped on one of our power stations. Just think about the consequences. Hundreds of thousands of people, even entire cities, depend on the energy generated by just one power station. So if that would stop working, we'd all have a problem. Phones would stop working, our electrical devices, the internet, public transport. We completely depend on these power stations which might be the most vulnerable link in our society. But why do we let this happen? The big world problems have always been a challenge to me. I remember when I was very young, I was fascinated by the power of lightning. So I figured, what if we can catch this lightning and use it as electricity? So I designed an installation in which the power of lightning was converted into steam. And I was madly excited about it. Until the point I found out that the actual amount of energy you can generate out of lightning is just enough to light a small bulb. So, yeah, speaking of anticlimax, that was it. But luckily for me, just one year ago, I got the opportunity to come up with another idea. Together with two amazing girls, Lotte van der Velde and Eline Jachtenberg, and in cooperation with Wetsus, we started to think about a solution to our world energy problem. We really wanted to make a change, and I think we definitely have. Besides the fact that our energy system is so extremely vulnerable, we have another big problem. And you've already heard of it a thousand times, but we're running out of fossil sources. So we have to come up with new methods to generate electricity. And a lot of inventions have been made already, like solar panels and windmills. Sun and wind are completely free. Great, you'd say. Problem solved. But that is not really true, since the demand of energy doesn't always match the generation of it. Which means that, for example, during rainy days, more energy is ge needed than generated, and we completely depend on our non-sustainable methods to generate electricity again. While at other moments, when there's a strong wind during the night, more energy is generated than needed, and therefore wasted. So what we need is a method that provides us with energy whenever we need it. We need a battery, a sustainable battery. And that's exactly what we've invented. The battery we have invented is called the blue battery. And the reason it's called blue is because of the fact that the entire battery runs on four solutions. These solutions can be made out of pure water, sodium chloride and sodium sulfate, which means they don't deplete any natural resources because they can be found everywhere on our planet, namely in our sea. I can talk for hours about the technical aspect of the blue battery. I'd love to, but I won't. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what's most important about it. And that is the fact that the entire battery once runs on the most common thing we have on Earth, water. The following reaction occurs in the blue battery when energy is stored and generated. To store electricity, water, H2O, is split in hydrogen and hydroxyl ions, creating an acid and base. When the energy is generated again, these two ions will form water and the energy is generated. I'm going to explain this a little further. First of all, the storage of electric electrical energy. At this moment, your battery is charged. This looks pretty complex. The blue thing you see is called a bipolar membrane and it sounds more complex than it actually is. A membrane is basically a barrier between two solutions, which lets through 
ions and molecules. A bipolar membrane is two membranes put together as one membrane. When electrical energy is stored, water molecules will transport into the membrane and be split in hydrogen and hydroxyl ions, creating a concentrated acid and a concentrated base. At this point, I've converted my electrical energy into chemical energy. And this is actually the type of energy I can store for as long as I want. When I need the energy again, I can just take these solutions, my concentrated acid and my concentrated base, and just put them into the same battery, and the opposite will occur. The generation of electricity, hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions will move into the bipolar membrane, form water again, which will be transported out of it. By this process, your concentrated acid and base become diluted again. To store and generate electrical energy, the same battery and the same solutions can be used over and over again. The batteries we have nowadays contain very dangerous substances, like lithium. These deplete natural resources, make them very dangerous to use and almost impossible to recycle. But the good thing about the blue battery is the fact that if I don't want to use it anymore, I can simply take my diluted solutions, gently mix them and just pour it back into the sea and it won't harm nature. So now we know a little bit about how it works and what the benefits of the blue battery are. But what's most interesting is to think about the possibilities it has. The size of the blue battery can be completely adapted to the customer's needs, depending on how much energy you want to store or generate. We've calculated that to provide energy for one household for one complete day, the size of the battery is just one cubic meter. Anyone could easily fit one cubic meter somewhere in their house. And since electricity plays such a crucial part in our society and our daily life, I believe we should keep these things that are so important to us as close to ourselves as possible. Imagine a world where sustainable energy is even more sustainable because we can use it whenever it's generated and whenever we need it. A world where energy can be generated locally and stored in homes. A world that doesn't depend on our decreasing fossil sources and the big companies that rule them. I believe the blue battery is the key to a sustainable and independent world. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is it.